A Tuscaloosa family is speaking out tonight after a car crash claimed the life of their 12 year old family member. That accident happened Tuesday afternoon in Pickens County. CBS 42 News reporter Tim Reed talked to the family today and has this report. This is where the fatal crash happened here along Highway 86 in Pickens County. State troopers tell us the vehicle left the roadway and crashed into a tree. Five people were inside the car, including a 12 year old who was killed. He was loving. He was kind. He had the biggest heart. Brittany Britton cannot believe her 12 year old little brother, Demetrius Thomas, is gone. It's hard. I never would have thought that I would be losing, especially a, a younger sibling. Tuesday afternoon, five of Britton's family members were driving to Carrollton to the Pickens County Jail to bail her out of prison when the unthinkable happened. The driver lost control and the car crashed. Four of her relatives, including a five year old, were taken to the hospital. Her 12 year old brother lost his life. And I had court Monday and Tuesday. My brother stayed at home Monday. And yesterday, he just, he knew that I was coming home. And he was just like, no, I don't want to stay at home. I want to go. I want to see my sister. I miss my sister. Britain's father, Reginald Thomas, is also heartbroken. Hey, right, man, it's rough, man. It's rough. I mean, we trying to hold in there, but it's, it's rough, man. You know, somebody got to stay strong, so I think I got to be the one for the fam. So. As this grieving family now prepares for a funeral, they are remembering this 12-year-old and how special he was to their family. He was a great kid. We, we did quite a few things together, but like I say, he mainly loved to play his games and like I say, a straight A student. There's no words to explain how I feel right now. There's no feelings to explain how I feel. The fatal accident is under investigation. State troopers tell us seat belts were not being used when that crash happened. In Pickens County, Tim Reed, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on. Tim, thank you. The